These two hexagons are the exact same size when they're on their sides, but if I rotate one onto its point, it becomes taller. There are times that you need to lay out or draw a hexagon based on given dimensions of one side or even the distance between two of its farthest points. And there are times when you need to draw it out based on the dimensions between two parallel sides. Today, I have two easy ways to do both, both with a compass and just with a ruler. In this first example, we're going to assume we know the distance between the two farthest points, which coincidentally is exactly twice the distance of one of a hexagon's six equal sides. I'll start by drawing a solid straight line that's at least as long as the distance I need between the two farthest points. We're gonna say that that's four inches for this hexagon, so I'll set my compass to half of that, which is two inches. If you were drawing to the dimensions of one side, you would set the compass just to that dimension. I'll place my compass point somewhere around the center of the line and draw a full circle. Then I'll set the point of the compass to the bottom of the circle where the line and the circle cross paths, and I'll swing around and make marks where my compass intersects with the circle, both on the left and the right of the line. Then I'll set my compass to the top of the line where it crosses paths with the circle again, and I'll do the same thing. Now there'll be six points where lines intersect, and if I simply connect each one of those intersections to each other, I'll have a hexagon with four inches between two farthest points, or a hexagon with two inch sides. So what if we don't have a compass? Here I'll draw a solid line the exact distance that I need between two farthest points, or double the length of one of my sides. Again, we're gonna say four inches. I'll divide and mark that four inch line into four equal parts, and then I'll draw two perpendicular lines to separate the first and last sections. I'm using the graduations on the ruler itself to sight through the first line that I made to make sure that I'm 90 degrees to it. Now I'll rotate my ruler diagonally and line a whole number mark to the center of the first line that I drew, and I'll keep rotating it until there's two inches between that mark and the top and bottom lines, and then I'll mark where they intersect. Why two inches? Because that's half the distance between the two farthest points of my desired hexagon, or the length of one of my sides. When those two marks are made, I'll rotate my ruler in the other direction and repeat the same process. Now I can connect the dots, connecting the top of the first line with one of the intersections to the left or right of it, connecting that intersection with the one below it, and then connecting that intersection to the bottom of the first line and following my way back up to the top. And just like before, I have a perfect hexagon with four inches between the two farthest points, or two inch sides. In the next example, we'll say that I need a hexagon that has two inches between parallel sides. Once again, I'll start by drawing my line to at least double that length, and I'll set my compass to whatever the distance is that I need between the parallel sides, which again, is two inches. Just like before, I'll set the compass point somewhere in the middle of the line and draw a complete circle. Then I'll set the point at the bottom of the circle where it intersects with that line and make marks to the left and right and then repeat at the top. But now, instead of connecting each intersection to the next, I'll skip every other one. This will give me a triangle, and when that triangle is complete, I'll connect the remaining intersections to each other, making another triangle. And the middle of those two triangles is my hexagon, with a perfect two inches between parallel sides. With no compass and only a ruler, I'll lay out the same way that I did before, doubling the distance that I need between parallel sides and dividing that into four equal parts, then marking the top and bottom sections with perpendicular lines. Then I'll hold a whole number mark on the ruler with the center of the first line and rotate it until the distance between that mark and the top and bottom lines is exactly what my required distance is between the parallel lines of my hexagon, which in this case, again, is two inches. The difference here, just like when we use the compass, is how we connect the points. Here I'll connect the top point to the two bottom intersections and I'll connect the bottom point to the two top intersections, thus creating two triangles. And again, in the middle of those triangles is our hexagon, with two inches between all parallel sides.